what does the life of the average young guy look like right now? Video games, social media and porn, right? These things make up a very large part of the life of the average guy in his teens, his 20s, the average young guy. There are so many guys right now who are completely caught up into this entertainment, into this lifestyle of instant gratification that they have absolutely no motivation to work towards their goals. And they feel as if their life just becomes less and less fun. They kind of feel miserable, they kind of feel unhappy. All they want to do is escape from reality and all they want to do is chase instant gratification, chase entertainment. And if they start to realize that their life sucks, that they are a loser, their life is going nowhere and that they are unhappy, instead of actually wanting to fix it, instead of actually wanting to fix their reality, they prefer to escape from reality into a bunch of digital alternatives. Games, porn, social media, etc. Entertainment, instant gratification. This lifestyle of instant gratification and escaping from reality, it is starting to become the new normal, right? If, especially if you're a young guy, you probably see this happening. I have been a dopamine addict myself as well. I felt miserable and I can see this happening to so, 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 so many other people. This is starting to become the new normal. What do you think is going to happen when the metaverse comes? It is going to be exactly that exactly the problems that we have right now with escaping from reality, instant gratification and dopamine addiction in general, but it is going to make it worse. It is going to make it literally 10 times, if not like a hundred or a million times worse. You can wake up in the morning and put on your pair of goggles and literally start living in a better version of your own life. Let's say that normally you live in a crappy apartment or you live in your parents' basement or something. You live in a crappy, messy, ugly house, right? You put on your goggles and instantly you live in a better version of your own house. You live in like a, a, a fancy apartment that has the same, the same shape as your apartment so you could walk around in your apartment, same rooms, same size, but you'd be having a view on the ocean. Instead of having a cheap, ugly desk, you'll have an expensive designer desk. You could have naked ladies sitting on your couch acting like your girlfriend. Naked NPC ladies cheering you on, saying that they love you. You could, could probably like illegally upload a picture or a video of your crush without her knowing about it. And you'd get like a deep fake skin rendered that you can project on some NPC. And you could have your crush sitting in your house, acting like your girlfriend. You could do sexy things with your crush. You could make her do literally whatever you'd want to do. You can start living out your wildest fantasies. You can literally upload like a, a, a deep fake skin of your mom, your friend's mom or your wife and then proje project her on like your fetish. If you've messed up your brain by watching too much porn and now you're into like cuckolding, you could upload the skin of your wife on your favorite BBC cuckold gangbang. And you could literally watch her in all the, in all the angles that you want. You could get the skin of your stepsister and you could give her a penis and you could give her bigger boobs and then you could watch her pee or like <laughs> literally make her do whatever you want. You can literally live out your absolute wildest fantasies in the metaverse. You could go on vacation in fantasy worlds. You could go on vacation in the Game of Thrones world and hang out with Jon Snow on the wall. This, the metaverse, is going to give us the exact problems that we have today that so many young guys in our modern society are struggling with. Dopamine addiction, escaping from reality and instant gratification but it's going to make it worse, far worse. Why would people go to the gym or lose weight to improve their body if their avatar in the metaverse is their new body? If they could just select whatever body they want and all of their friends would also spend the majority of their time in the metaverse and so they 
be looking more at your avatar than your real life body. Your avatar becomes your new body. Why would people bring up the motivation to actually work on their real body? Why would people talk to real women and get rejected because they try to seduce women if you could upload the skin of literally your favorite celebrity or your crush or anyone you'd want onto an NPC, have that NPC act like your slave and literally make her do anything you want. Why would people save up money to go on a vacation to a real place in the real world if they go can go on vacation for free or like at most a couple of bucks in a fantasy world that is better, better than real life. Now, of course, these, these things aren't actually better. If you understand how it works and how dopamine works, you know that it isn't actually making us happier and that it isn't actually better than real life. But the metaverse is going to sell us the illusion that it is better because it sells it, it in the form of instant gratification. And so it's going to appeal to us as better. And people are going to fall for it. Just look at how people are already falling for it right now. Look at what video games are doing to people's lives. Look at what porn is doing to people's lives. What do you think that is going to happen if you could start practically living inside of the video game? What do you think is going to happen to like people and gaming addiction and stuff? It's already destroying people's lives. It's already sapping people's motivation away from real life into the video game. What do you think is going to happen if you could practically live inside the video game and you essentially become a character? You don't see your character progressing anymore, but you see yourself as the character progressing. Right, your character doesn't get better gear or more strength. No, you literally see yourself getting more muscular or whatever it is. You see yourself progressing. You become the character. This is completely going to hijack our brain sense of progression. It is completely going to destroy to what extent we actually want to progress in real life compared to how we want to progress in the video game. Again, this is already happening right now with video games, with the, with the video games that we currently have. Imagine what next level this is going to take it to if we become the character. Look at what porn is already doing to people's lives. What do you think is going to happen if we get into metaverse levels of porn? If you could project any celebrity or any illegally project any person you know in real life, your crush, your friend's mom, your sister, and, and, and just walk around in between of them and make them do whatever you want, live out your absolute wildest fantasies in a 3D environment. And now maybe it's not actually the metaverse that is going to be the, the big VR world. Maybe the metaverse fails and there's a competitor that gets like a, a monopoly on the, the, the VR reality. But it will happen. We will get to a point in the not so distant future where we will see an alternate virtual reality that is going to offer us a whole bunch of awesome things to do, a form of escape from the real reality. It's kind of up that we're even talking about like the real reality and an alternate reality because there, sh there should be only one reality but it's going to offer us an escape from reality it's going to offer us a form of entertainment a form of instant gratification that is unlike anything else we have ever seen before in the history of mankind and a lot of us are starting to become aware of just how bad dopamine addiction and instant gratification is, how bad this stuff can mess up your life. It messed up my life. It is messing up so many other people's lives. This is going to take it to the next level.
I am not trying to say that like, I think that any form of virtual reality should be banned and that you should be never allowed into the metaverse. The metaverse is going to be awesome, okay? I'm definitely going to check out the metaverse myself as well. But I'm trying to warn you guys, just like with porn, video games, drugs, alcohol, if you do this stuff too often, it is going to destroy your life. And this is going to take it to the next level. So if right now you are already struggling with things that hijack your dopamine system, video games and porn, you need to be extremely, extremely careful when the metaverse comes. This honestly might just be the biggest struggle that we are going to face in our lifetime. Aside from like the more obvious immediate things like death and disease and, and maybe a war that might come. Because we might see a war like the Third World War or something in our lifetime. Fairly decent chance. But aside from these things like death and war, this is going to be the biggest struggle that you are going to face in your life. You need to be f***ing prepared for this.